Now that I've navigated my space, one of the other things I can do, let's get this object here and let's rotate it back to um, where I want it and let's move it so it's sitting on the ground. So I've got my object here. Let's add another object. So let's get this, um, you see this shape here, my cylinder. Um, I can, let's rotate that cylinder. So I'm gonna rotate this cylinder 90 degrees and let's go scale. Let's make it a bit bigger, maybe something like that. But I don't want it that thick. So let's go and it's actually gonna be the height because it was up and down like that. So I'm gonna change this this way and let's move that onto that shape. You see how I can go through it, but it's gonna sort of snap to that spot there. Um, I might make the diameter just a bit bigger, not too big. There we go, and maybe move this up. Okay, so now one of the things that I can do here, I'm gonna pinch in. Say I wanna move these two shapes um, together. I don't want to move them separate. Right now they're separate. There's this shape and this shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the first shape, then hold down with that finger and tap the other shape. And you'll see one of the options that comes up is group. I'm going to do that again because sometimes this can be difficult. So I'm going to tap the first one, hold down, and then tap the second one. Now sometimes you see there, I've got them both selected, but that menu doesn't come up. So I'm just gonna tap it one more time, and there the menu comes up and I can group them. And the great part about grouping them now, if I wanna move, I'm moving the objects together. So you can now change this shape and they're grouped together. So that's the next thing that you should try out.